many of my colleagues been asking me about specification. How, the, how specification is developed for a project, who wrote it, how it's done. So I thought I will make a, this a video to explain how specification is developed and tailored for a certain project. <clears throat> Usually, there is a institution uh, usually, let me start from the beginning then. Uh, there is client, he has, he want to make a project. So this client, he calls a, a engineering firm or a consultant, for example. And he set his requirement. This requirement, we call it OPR, Owner's Projects Requirement. He specify the building, how big the building or the project, how many floor, is it core and shell, is it uh, fitted, uh, things like this. The color, irrigation, landscaping, all these things. The consultant firm with the engineering firm, let's say if the, pro if the project is a mega project, they make a JV, uh, joint venture, and they set the BOD, basis of design. Once they put the basis of design, they will start developing or tailoring the specification according to the project. The winner of the bid, the winner of the bid, he will be handed over a CD. This CD, we call it construction documents. It contains the BOQ, Bill of Quantity, uh, IFT uh, drawing, this is issued for tendering. During tendering, this one is issued. But when the project is won by a certain uh, company, uh, we call it IFC, issued for construction drawings. And he will be given a specification, addendums and bulletins, questions and answers which arise during the bidding stage, minute of meetings which was going on during the uh, bidding, uh, RFI, request for information or TQ, technical query, these arise when you are studying the uh, bid. Uh, usually, these, uh, there, there will be between the construction company and the consultant, there will be some correspondence. Uh, these correspondence, we call them RFI, request for information, to clarify certain things. So he will be handed over also to the uh, winner. According to uh, now, we will speak about the specification mainly in this video. How the specification is developed or tailored? Consultant usually he buy the specification from a certain institution in USA. Uh, we are speaking about uh, specification bought from USA. Europe is different story. So this firm, it's called or this institution called Construction Specification Institute. This CSI master format is the organizational standard for specification developed by Construction Specification Institute. It's widely used in North America, especially it's for uh, commercial or institutional buildings, domestic buildings. Okay, if you go to their website, if we go to their website, let me put Google here. CSI master format, I write CSI master format, and here it comes, CSI master format, here is the website, okay, and I sh I've shown it over here, www.csinet.org master format. So, in, uh, let me tell you here, in uh, 1995, CSI ma uh, master format, they have developed a specification. This specification called MF95. The things you have to know, uh, this, uh, the sections, it, co it consists of 16 sections. Each section, it consists from five digits. I will show you an example about five digits. Here is a specification for a project, uh, section 1600. So this is MF95. In year uh, 2004, this master format, it's gone under a major uh, re uh, revision, and they call it MF04. 
MF04 it consists of 50 section each section it consists of six digits to differentiate between the obsolete 95 and uh, MF04 so I will show you another example of a new uh, of a new uh, MF04 here it is as we said it consists of six digits now let's go to the uh, website of the master format so the master format website here it is uh, if you press you can see here this is the website and down there it has uh, nice uh, nice links if we press this link download download master format 0016 numbers and titles it will show you all the sections for the generic uh, specification uh, as you can see every section consists of six digits and every section it has subsections and sometimes the subject subsec section it has also subsections uh, I try to show you some examples if I can let me go up here here you can see 028333.13 so uh, usually if you press here store if you press store it will take you to this portal CSI portal you have to log in you have to have a subscription so if you log in if you log in then you will go to this portal again and I have log logged in with my name and everything so if you press online store it will take you to their store and you find the master format and you can buy it from here sometimes this master format doesn't come in the first page so you have to put it here in the search write it master format one word press search and it will come it costs you 169 dollar and you can download it from there uh, as i said before mf uh, mf95 it's obsolete now if you uh, write to the support or if you contact csi to support you regard uh, regarding uh, mf95 they will not answer you anymore because it's obsolete but for this master format they will always send you revisions if there is any revision they will send you as you can see here there is a new listing there is revised number and and so on okay now what they have done what they will do the uh, consultants they will take they will download this uh, generic specification and they will tar tailor it according to their project for sure the consultants they are not specialist in everything they do sub some subcontracting too like for uh, soil uh, study they will bring a subcontractor they will do the study for them uh, like uh, structural uh, they will bring uh, somebody a subcontractor they will do the structural foundation for them and they will make the specification they will tailor the, tailor the specification according to the project some specific uh, uh, section also like uh, firefighting fire suppression let me say is fire su suppression maybe they will subcontract it too so all these all these uh, modification or tailoring they will be gathered together and they will develop a specification for the project now again now again i will show you I will show you examples as we said for specification this one uh, this specification is done according to MF95 another one for the same project it's uh, I've, it's this consultant firm Al Mutlaq and Bunahia also the electrical it's done according to MF95 here I want to know to you MF95 it consists of 16 sections only it's not 50 section okay another one this is for project in Mecca uh, Jabal Omar okay it's done according to MF 95 uh, you can see here okay 
and uh, another one this specification for also another project we are doing Aldara Hospital if you see here 0000, 0000, 0001, 013233 so this is according to MF04 and if you can compare if you compare this to the uh, to the generic to the generic uh, specification you will notice many sections have been omitted like here division 2 existing condition not used and so on many sections are not used so if you can make little comparison you can see the difference okay here is another one 055213 I want to note to you here the specification mainly talks about the material it will tell you uh, uh, what is the material made of what? Uh, what standard is used for this material? Uh, how it will be uh, installed? And sometimes they will put for you how it's uh, commissioned. Another thing I want to note to you, uh, CSI, they have a transition guide. This transition guide, here is the website, www.masterformat.com transition guide. If we go to this website, if we go to the website, what is the purpose of transition guide? Let's assume you have a old uh, specification according to MF95, and you want to see what is the alternative uh, specification in uh, MF04. Here I plugged in 16500. If I press convert, then uh, I will see the alternative uh, specification which is 265000 let me plug another number let me show you let's for example take 12050 okay this one I'll press convert it's uh, it will show you the alternative number which is 120513 okay this is the transition guide it's a, just a guide for you and also as I said before they have a revision list to show you what are the new revisions. Okay. One thing also I want to note also to you. There is a suite catalog. This suite catalog, which is shown here, the website, the address of the website. If you press this one, it's a nice, it's a nice website. Why? It's, it's a manufacturer catalog. Okay. Here are the products. If we press on the products okay uh, here it will show you the uh, which product conform to which section in the mf04 let's if we press this one for example so you will see all the material which is uh, related to the this section uh, that's why sometimes if you look into the specification you will find some novated material so you can get it from here otherwise if you want from your local market you can submit uh, their technical information or technical uh, catalog and will be approved from the consultant okay this one it's called sweet catalog and as I showed you the website address here it is so this is uh, this is all about it how the specification it's developed uh, and everything and CSI they have developed this generic specification usually with the help of specialized companies you, specialized companies they will uh, make the specification uh, for their products and they will send it to uh, CSI and CSI they will compare and they will make this generic specification that's about it uh, thank you for listening uh, if you like this video, plus subscribe and press like. Thank you again. Bye-bye.